Good morning, everyone. Dr. Stillman here. And today I'm going to be talking to you about work smarter, not harder, five secrets to optimize your fitness routine for maximum results. It's the new year. A lot of you probably have new New Year's resolutions, and I want to help you understand many of the reasons why I see people uh, failing to uh, achieve the goals that they've set in the new year uh, in their fitness routine and their fitness goals. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump in. So first of all, what are we going to cover today? So for this presentation, I decided to talk about five serious mistakes that most people are making in their fitness routine that entail five key actions that you have to take to achieve optimal fitness and performance. We cover these with everyone that we coach and take care of. Why most people are making these mistakes, even though when you understand them, you're going to be blown away that so many people are making them. Why most health and fitness professionals make these mistakes too, and I mean that. You know, we work with lots of high-level influencers and professionals, and we see them making these mistakes just like regular people. And if they're coaching regular people, their clients are making those mistakes too. And we are going to share with you solutions that work for your busy, stressful life. Okay. So why am I so passionate about this? So I've been there and I've seen countless people come back from being tired, frustrated, overweight, overwhelmed, dissatisfied with where they are with their health and their wellness. I've seen them achieve their goals. And now I'm excited to share what I've learned with you. Who am I? If you don't know who I am, I have a degree in environmental health and biology from Connecticut College. I earned my medical doctorate from the University of Virginia School of Medicine. I've worked in small town ERs, big city hospitals, and for the past several years, I've been practicing functional and integrated medicine in my own practice. I now live in Naples, Florida, and for more of my background, I encourage you to listen to my podcast with my friends Ben Greenfield or Dr. Joe Mercola. So before I get any further, Drop a one in the comments to make sure that I am getting good audio pickup. If you have any problems hearing me, just let me know. So how did I learn all this? Because I really want to impress upon you guys how much time and effort went into my learning and understanding this material. I call it basically 20 years of R&D. I started my first apprenticeship to a naturopath when I was about 15, 14, but I can't honestly remember when it started. And ever since then, I've just inhaled books and articles and podcasts and everything. And then I went to medical school and residency. And after that, I had mentorships, apprenticeships. At one point, I knew I'd I counted it up and I'd spent over $100,000 in a few years on conferences, mentorships, training programs, and the like. Uh, a year and a half ago, I teamed up with Jim Laird, who has 25 years of strength and conditioning expertise. He's been interviewed on top podcasts. Go Google him and podcasts if you want to find out more and see some of his top podcast episodes. And together, we realized we were a dynamic team that could really help people achieve their health and wellness goals uh, together with me focusing more on the biochemistry supplements and talking people through more medical type stuff and Jim focusing on the strength and conditioning stuff and the coaching, right? We work with busy parents, business owners, high performers and professionals, influencers, athletes and practitioners, and people like you. I guarantee you that across my almost 10 years of practice now and Jim's 25 years of coaching, I and Jim have worked with somebody just like you. So we know exactly what it takes to get people results. You can learn more about me on uh, X or Instagram at StillmanMD is my uh, handle. You can look at my YouTube channel, my Facebook uh, profile and business profile as well. And then I blog personally at stillmanmd.substack.com. And I should have put this in there, but uh, make sure that you're subscribed to stillmanwellness.com where my other newsletter comes out that I don't personally write. Jim Laird, you can follow. He's at Jim Laird on Instagram. All right. So the five secrets I want to share with people today start with five critical mistakes. Okay. These are all about resource management. And this is why one of the things we stress with people who come to us for help all the time is what are your goals? OK, because if we don't know what your goals are, we can't even begin to manage your available resources. Right. So you've got to define your goals carefully and then you have to pick your tactics and your strategies. So one of my favorite quotes about tactics and strategies is strategy without tactics is the slowest road to victory. Tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. So many people out there are being defeated because they have lots of tactics, right? They have workout routines and they've got ready-made meals and they've got 
intermittent fasting and they've got blue blockers and they've got this and they've got that and they're not getting results. Why? Because as Sun Tzu said, tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. So if you're really tired of the noise before defeat and then the defeat that follows it, this webinar is for you. Okay. Strategy without tactics is the slowest road to victory. What that means is even if you don't have very good tactics, if you have the right strategy, you can still get to where you want to go. And believe me, we have the tactics and the strategy. We will get you the fastest road to victory, but you've got to define your goals first. And that's another key thing for me to tell you guys is we're trade-off coaches. So Bill Hartman, one of Jim's mentors said that to him and then he said it to me and I thought that's brilliant. That's exactly what we are. We help people understand the trade-offs and we're going to talk more about what that means later, but it's a critical concept for you guys to get because many people do not achieve their health and wellness goals because they do not understand this and it leads to frustration lack of results, and really uh, sadness, despondency after a while. And another thing I want you to tell you guys is there's no rules, only tools. I'm going to talk about a lot of tactics today, but you're going to notice that I don't bash any particular uh, road to get to where you want to go. I'm just going to explain the mistakes I see people making with many of the tools, tactics, strategies uh, that uh, people are using now to get their health and fitness goals. Okay. The five big mistakes I see people making very consistently that are hamstringing their success. They are mismanaging their micronutrients, vitamins, and minerals. They are mismanaging their macronutrients, carbs, fats, and proteins. They are mismanaging their hormones, testosterone, estrogen, progesterone. Those are your sex steroid hormones. There's many metabolites there that I'm not going to get into. Cortisol and DHEA, these are your adrenal hormones. And then thyroid hormone, which of course has all of its own metabolites. So they don't understand how their hormones work and they have not optimized them. So they are mismanaging them. They are mismanaging their workouts, and then they are mismanaging their rest and recovery. And when you get these five critical elements of a good strategy together with the right tactics, the results are amazing. Okay, why do I say mismanaging? This is all about working smarter, not harder. So we're going to manage things, and that means we want you to work smarter with the same or less amount of time and resources than you are now. All right, what are the five secrets to go back to? So you've got to optimize your micronutrients. That's vitamins and minerals. You've got to optimize your macronutrients. That's fats, proteins, and carbs. You've got to optimize your hormones. That's your sex steroid hormones, your stress hormones, your adrenal hormones, and your thyroid hormones. You've got to optimize your training regimen, and you've got to optimize your rest and recovery. Okay? Optimizing micronutrients. And now I'm going to break this down. So I said I had five secrets. Well, the, it turns out that each one of these secrets, I had like five things that were easy for me to come up with that just stood out to me as the mistakes that people are making in these different categories. So really you're getting 25 secrets today, you know? So major misconceptions that people have about optimizing micronutrients. So number one, they think my micronutrients are optimized because I eat a healthy diet, or they think all I've got to do is take a multivitamin, or all I have to do is replace nutrients that are low on a blood test, or worse, micronutrients aren't that important. That is absolutely not true. Or five, all I need to do is take these micronutrients recommended for everyone by this person or that person. That doesn't end well. I've been there. I see this all the time. When you get into people's labs and counseling them one-on-one, -on -one, oh my gosh, it becomes very apparent over a long enough period of time and enough cases that there is not a one-size-fits-all approach that is effective. You're just going to be miserable if you rely on this over time. These things simply are not true. Okay. Optimizing micronutrients, realities, okay? Biochemical individual, individuality is real. Biochemical individuality means that each one of you is unique. Each one of you has got a different level of X, Y, Z, mineral, vitamin, your ability to oxidize glucose, your ability to get glucose into the cell. You are different. And because of that, we actually have to tailor things to you. We have to personalize them, right? Why do you go to a personal trainer when you want to get results? Because the personal trainer makes it personal, right? Balance is everything. This is a critical, critical thing for you to understand. So I see so many people focusing on the amount. And they say, well, I get my zinc here, and I get my copper here, and I get my B6 here, and I get my this here, and I get that here. And I say, hang on, stop. Did you know that all of these nutrients interact? Copper and zinc and molybdenum and manganese all compete with one another. So if you're dumping a ton of copper into the system, as I've talked about in many past webinars and articles on my substack at stillmanmd.substack.com, 
as I've talked about there, getting enough is only a component of this, right? Just like in your workout routines, if you were only to like work the right side of your body and then it was to get really mismatched to your left, you would notice the same things going on in your body with your nutrition right now and you may not even realize it, okay? Next, supplement protocols should be tailored to you every three to four months. I cannot stress how strongly I feel about this. So many people come to me trying to optimize their nutrition and they've been taking 5, 10, 15, 20 supplements every day for months or years. And we look at their numbers on lab testing, hair, urine, blood, doesn't matter. I've tried it all. Trust me, hundreds of patients. And what we'll see is the nutrients they're taking are not showing up where they need them. And the reason is simple. Their protocols are not being tailored and they're not being adjusted to their biochemical individuality, right? That's why I would say supplementing indefinitely with high doses of nutrients is a sure strategy for failure. I see this happening all the time, right? When I take care of people, I'm always looking at the numbers and I'm always saying, what dose of this or that or the other mineral, vitamin, whatever is appropriate for them? And I'm not trying to shoot for more than three to four months when I've got data. And if they're asking me without any kind of lab data, then I'll tell them, hey, you've got to keep it within these numbers. Otherwise, it's going to be a disaster, okay? If you take it for long enough, right? So high doses have to be tailored and they can absolutely make or break your success. And oftentimes, by the way, this does not come out for years. Uh, people will, will slowly, slowly get worse and worse and worse and worse thinking they're doing the right thing. But what they're doing is not making them thick enough, fast enough for them to ever realize that it's part of the root cause of their problem. And so then we come in with testing, we put them on the right protocol and all of a sudden they see these things come into balance and they're really impressed by how powerfully just balancing things and using lower doses than they were using before can get them results. Okay, so what I've found in my practice to uh, recap that. So most people are wasting money on supplements they don't need or that are actually holding them back. Most people are missing a few to a dozen key nutrients that are holding them back and that won't be diagnosed on most blood tests as deficient. Most practitioners, even within the functional and integrative world, do not understand how to perform or interpret this kind of testing. So I'll get people coming to me who've already seen practitioners, and I don't mean this you know, in a disrespectful way, but they've already seen practitioners who did not give them the information they needed to A, understand the testing that they did, and B, it's obvious to me that many of these practitioners don't understand the limitations of the testing that they're ordering uh, because they either haven't seen enough patients or they haven't tested the hypotheses that they were taught in their certification courses. Even practitioners who offer micronutrient testing do not know how to interpret it to get results. And the get results part is the key ingredient there. I see this over and over again. And then on top of that, many of them order too many tests or the wrong type of test. All right. Okay, optimizing macronutrients. So major misconceptions about macronutrients. What are macros? First of all, many of you have never heard, may have never heard this term. But the truth of the matter is somebody came to me recently in a coaching call we were on and, and she said, you know, do I need more lab testing because it's expensive and the supplements are expensive and I'm trying to save some money right now? And I said, we can do that, but I can't tell you you're going to make the same progress. You may not make the same progress at all, depending upon the case. And then on top of that, if I'm going to do things without supplements and lab testing, I really need people who are serious about their results to get into macronutrient balancing and counting. Why? Because we always see people making huge mistakes with this. So if you don't even know what a macro is, you may not need to know what it is, but a misconception people have is that they can get amazing, over the top, unbelievably good results without labs, without supplements, without medical care, without hormone optimization, without all that stuff, without understanding macros. And I would say that having worked with a lot of people who've, you know, come to us from a personal trainer or, or whatever, they're all into their macros on the one hand and their training regimen on the other. It's very hard to get people good results without both. Second misconception, I'm not hungry, so I must be eating enough and my balance of macronutrients must be right. No. This is frequently not the case. There are many different things that drive hunger and many people will exercise themselves to exhaustion 
but they'll be so exhausted and stressed out that they actually don't feel hungry. So one of the first things we have to do is take stock of where are they in general so we can figure out what they actually need to eat. So people really make this misconception all the time. People will often come to us and say, I eat a lot of protein, fats, carbs, or whatever. Um, sorry. So I'm not sure I'm getting enough for my training goals. I'm oh, sorry. So I'm sure I'm getting enough for my training goals. So what I mean by that is people will come to us and they'll think that they're getting enough, but they don't understand how that doesn't match up to their goals, right? Number four, I can just use meal replacement products or meal preparation services to optimize my macros. Sometimes this works. Sometimes this does not. I have seen people go off the rails with meal replacement products and prep services for a wide range of reasons. And then the last misconception that's really important is that calories in do not equal calories out. This is often uh, put out in the, in the health and fitness world. It's more complex than that. How your body handles all the nutrients you take in depends upon things like your energetic environment, how stressed you are, how you feel and take care of yourself on a day-to-day -day basis, how much you're sleeping. You can make your body more efficient or you can make your body burn more calories and how many you need to do things like maintain weight or maintain muscle actually can vary quite a lot depending upon factors aside from what you're putting in your mouth or what you're doing in the gym. All right. So realities, as I said in the last, the last part, biochemical individuality is real. So we will often tailor macronutrient loads to people and ratios to people to get them optimal results. Balance is key. People will often, if not most of the time, come to us making mistakes in the balance of their macros. You've got to understand that just like micronutrients, vitamins, and minerals, that is, macro goals should be dynamic and should be tailored to you continuously. So people will eat the same macros month after month after month after month, and they may not realize the goals they have or where they are nutritionally or biochemically or in terms of their hormones are not compatible with the macros that were getting them the results they wanted six months, a year, 10 years, whatever ago. This is more and more true as people get older, by the way. The more extreme your goal, the more critical your macros become. And this is really important because many of you don't come to us with these really high level extreme goals and you're okay with having your macros a little bit out of whack. You've got to have some basic fundamentals there, believe me. But the more extreme your goal becomes, the more you've got to dial in your macros. And then five, macro ratios must be tailored to your unique and dynamic context. It's ever changing. And that's why when we coach people, we like to have touch points with them at least weekly because that allows us to change and iterate and adjust what we're recommending to them so that they can get the best results possible. What I've found in my practice is that most people are not eating the right balance of macronutrients for their goals. Most people are missing a few key servings of specific food groups that would fix their macros. These are not big, crazy shifts. They just don't understand portion sizes, frequency of meal timing, things like that. That are hamstringing their results. Sadly, most healthcare practitioners are not equipped to help you optimize your macros. And I'll add too that most people in the fitness and training world don't have the experience with people who are not well or not that healthy to help them understand, okay, here's how your medical things change how we're going to do for you in the gym, right? Or here's a supplement that might be super helpful for some of your complaints that will actually really help you say, digest your food better and get better results in the gym. Jim and I are, I think, the perfect combination of two people who help you understand these things. And that's why we're getting better results uh, than people coming to us are getting with people they're working with now. Number four, many personal trainers mismanage their clients' macros often because they do not understand their medical issues. That's what I actually just kept on saying. And last, um, many people end up following the wrong macros or no macros at all for far, far too long, and it ruins their progress. All right. So optimizing hormones. Uh, Amy asks, what are the most common gaps in people's lives, most common missing minerals, macros, habits, et cetera? That is a great question, Amy, but I would be here all day if I jumped into that. Um, I will... Uh, I would be here all day if I jumped into that. It's such a big story, okay? So optimizing hormones, major misconceptions. So, and I'll ask, actually add, Amy, I, we will have a Q&A at the end. So stick around. I'll answer the questions like that quickly and give you a little bit more insight. And if you can narrow it down, that would actually help me answer you faster. So major misconceptions about optimizing hormones. So number one, hormonal imbalances are the root cause of many diseases. That's simply not true. 
Hormones are your body's response to the environment. And that means that what your hormones are doing is affected by all the different things in your environment that stimulate their production. Okay. Number two, I need to boost hormone X, Y, or Z. So this is a system that needs balance. So when people try to boost one hormone, often they inadvertently boost another because the hormone can convert to that. Or the body has a very good reason to not boost a hormone. Like, for example, you don't have enough thyroid hormone. Well, are you eating enough protein? Because guess what? If you increase thyroid hormone concentrations in the body, you will increase the metabolic rate. If you increase the metabolic rate, you're going to increase catabolism. What is that going to do? It's going to increase your need for protein. So your body is saying, you are not feeding me well. Therefore, I'm going to make less thyroid hormone. Feed and nourish the body properly. Many hormone problems disappear. Okay. Number three, I can just take supplements or eat certain foods to boost or manage my hormones. This misses a huge forest of different things that affect hormone levels. If you want more on this, I've got a lot of webinars on it, a lot of articles on it at my Substack. Like the question from Amy, I can't actually get into all these details today. Unfortunately, we don't have time. Um, but believe me, I see this all the time in simple things. Like I'll just tell you quickly, we had many people in the thyroid course we did about a year ago who saw that their, um, say like menopausal symptoms, hot flashes, um, many women, it was other hormonal symptoms like headaches, problems with their uh, mood around their cycle, just disappear when they took their sunglasses off and went outside. Sometimes it's that simple. Rarely is that the only thing contributing to people's problems. Number four, my hormones are irreversibly deranged. There's no hope for me. I'm doomed. I have this diagnosis of hormonal imbalance and I'm going to deal with it forever. Not fair. Not fair at all. Many things can be modulated in order to optimize people's hormones level, hormonal levels in order to achieve optimal health and vitality. And they don't need to be prescriptions or herbs or supplements or whatever. And then last, if my hormones are low, I can just replace them with injectable or topical hormones such as bioidentical hormones and that will fix all of my problems. No. This is not going to work. And when I say it's not going to work, I don't mean that these things are bad or wrong. I use these hormones in my practice. I think they're incredibly important, life-giving, life-saving. I love them. But it's really important to understand that if the hormones are low or imbalanced in the first place, we should look for why they are rather than jumping to pharmaceuticals or herbs or supplements to try and manipulate them. Okay? All right. Amy Rember, do you think that a nutrient-dense three-meal-a-day healthy diet would eliminate the need for lots of supplements? I've seen that fail over and over and over again, and I've seen many people who are doing that. I've seen their labs, and there's lots of problems under the hood. Some of these have to do with diet or lifestyle issues. Some of them have to do with diet, but a lot of it has to do with our modern world where we have lots of things making us sick, heavy metals, glyphosate, pesticides, herbicides, all the toxic gamish we live in unfortunately, really increases our need for uh, nutrients, at least based, and that's based on testing and testing lots and lots of patients over the years, and then seeing how they flourish when we get their nutrient profiles right. Okay, optimizing hormones, realities. So hormones are signaling molecules that your body creates and releases based on signals from your environment and depending upon your internal state. When we look at the literature on hormone imbalances, deficiencies, et cetera, there are many different things that can contribute to imbalances or deficiencies of hormones, right? Some of this is natural menopause, andropause, right? There's a natural dropout in these hormones, but you'll notice, right? Many people go through these processes and don't experience symptoms, which means it's not just about the hormones. It's about everything else about your wellness, right? helping you optimize your environment, your lifestyle, and then optimizing what's going into your body, whether it's your personal care products, your nutrition, your food, whatever, that's the name of the game when it comes to getting people great results and helping them to optimize their hormone profile naturally. Number two, balance is everything. And that means that boosting things is playing with fire. You know, I've seen many people who are thinking, well, I've got to increase my testosterone, but then you test their labs and all of a sudden it's, whoa, this person has a high estrogen level. And maybe they do need more testosterone, but what are you going to do to fix that other problem where their body is transforming that testosterone into estrogen? Same can be said of so many hormones, all the hormones across the board. Number three, everything about your life affects your hormones. It's not going to be that much, but it's significant enough for you to see a huge difference. And this is why when most people get a hormone panel, 
they'll notice, oh, the levels are normal. Most of the hormone panels that I run, what I see as imbalances or things that are not optimized are not things that are abnormal or really diseased. They're actually just not optimal. And that's a big difference. Number four, very, very few people have broken hormonal systems. Very few. So people who think that they're broken, they can't be fixed. I haven't found this to be true in my practice at all. There's tons and tons of things that we can share with you and help you understand and help optimize a hormone system. And last, hormone optimization is vital for optimal performance, and it is a complex system. And what I mean by that is that many people will come to us and they'll basically say something like, I want to be a shredded looking 18 year old who can, you know, deadlift my own body weight. And I'm 65 years old and I'm currently overweight and I have a little bit of insulin resistance and I want to do it all without hormones. There are many cases in which if someone's, someone's training goal is not realistic for their state of health and their commitment to diet and lifestyle changes. This goes back to what I said about the more extreme your goal, the more extreme your macronutrient control and discipline has to be. The same thing's true with hormones. Is it possible to look really good at an advanced age without bioidentical hormones? 100%. Is it easy? No. It requires discipline, consistency, and it requires understanding all the things that we teach people in our training programs. And by the way, we can help you understand whether or not hormone replacement is right for you because based on your goals, right, we can say, you know what, we've seen people do that, but this is how hard it is. Or we've seen people, you know, do that with hormones and that's how much easier it made it, right? Okay. What I've found in my practice, many people are unwittingly, it says taking, but it's supposed to say tanking their hormones with simple things they're doing every day. Most people need to focus on balancing their hormones, not just boosting them and manipulating them. Most people don't realize that they have to optimize their lives to optimize their hormones. They are intimately linked. Four, most people never get to the root cause of their hormonal issues due to lack of the proper care and the lack of consistency in what they do commit to. Okay. And then five, many people wind up with a practitioner who does not understand hormones, except in a conventional sense which I think is very limited. And most people coming to us, they go to the regular doctor, they get their regular labs done and they say they're normal, see you next year, uh, nothing's wrong with you. And they say, but I have fatigue and brain fog and I can't lose weight and I have headaches and I have abdominal pain and I don't understand why I can't eat gluten and dairy and what's going on with me. I don't wanna just hear I'm well. I didn't feel this way five, 10, 15, 20, 30 years ago. What else have you got for me to help me achieve my goals and lead the best life possible, right? That comes down to understanding these nuances about how hormones work in the real world, not just based on a medical textbook. Okay, optimizing training regimens. Major misconceptions. More is more. I'm just not working hard enough, or I just need to do one more set. No, 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 no. Jim's gonna jump in in a minute and he's gonna share with us his experience with this in some of the case studies that we're gonna go over, but this is just wrong. Number two, form is overrated or downright unimportant. Jim is probably going to tell me that it's not form, it's strategy or something like that. He can do that when he jumps in. What I want you guys to understand is that much of what we do to help people get the results they want is to change how they're doing what they're doing. That's why it's work smarter, not harder. You wouldn't believe the little things that change the game for people that take us five, 10 minutes to figure out that they go years without the value of if they don't have the benefit of coaching with us. Number three, feeling exhausted all the time or having extreme muscle soreness is just part of the process. No, I'll more on that later. And then four, if you're feeling good, then you're ready for an intense workout. Believe it or not, many of you are very poor judges of when you are ready to work out and what intensity you need to get to your goals. And you end up actually crushing your results by overworking your body. And then five results are about pain and hard work and sure effort will make up for lack of technique or attention to detail. Trust me, this does not work. It's the same way in medicine. You've got to have the right technique, form, uh, training regimen. It's all got to be just, just right for you. And you will get infinitely better results with less work, less time, less expense, less everything. Right. Realities. So in training, less can be much, much, much more. Believe me. Number two, optimizing your biomechanics is essential 
Okay. We, I've seen so many patients come to me at 50, 60, 70, their joint is failing. Now they have to get it replaced. They have to go through a major surgery, 10, $15,000. Many of them have gone through PRP, stem cells, prolotherapy, prolozone. They've spent thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars on their joints. And if they had just worked with Jim Laird 10 or 20 years ago, they wouldn't have had to spend any of that money or go to any of those doctors or do any of that stuff. It blows my mind then when people are like, well, I don't know if I have time for a coaching program. I'm like, do you have time to save your, you know, elbows, knees, hips, shoulders? Because I do. I hope you do. Anyway. Uh, where was I? Yeah, optimizing your biochem mechanics is essential. You've got to do this. Number three, feelings of exhaustion or severe muscle soreness are signs that your body is out of balance. This doesn't necessarily mean that you should never feel these things, but Jim talks often about the difference between testing and building your performance. So if you test yourself all the time at the highest intensity possible, you actually will, will slow down or demolish your gains and your improvements. And that means that you don't need to go to the gym and wreck yourself three times a week, five times a week, let alone every single day of the week. Number four, even when you're feeling good, you may not actually be ready for a tough workout. And Jim will talk a little bit more about this, but what you've got to understand is that your results, the results you're looking for are not actually the result of the working out itself. They are the result of the adaptation or they are rather the adaptation to that exercise, okay? Again, we'll talk more about that in a minute, but it's a really important concept to understand. And last, results are about balancing your training regimen with your ability to recover from your training, not just punishing yourself harder for longer, okay? So what I've found in my practice to sum all that up, many people are exercising too much. Most people do not realize how their current training regimen is setting them up for failure, both now and far into the future. Number three, most people increase intensity to the point of diminishing returns and then don't nourish their body and rest properly to respond to their training, which leads to failure. Most people either underestimate or overestimate their exercise capacity, and this leads to a tremendous waste of time and effort. And I want to be really clear about what I see happening here. We have the overachievers, high intensity folks over here who are on the wagon but they're driving themselves with strategies that are going to ruin their joints or just wreck their physiology in general. And as they get older, they can no longer do this. Then they bust an elbow, hip, knee, whatever. All of a sudden they're out and they gain weight and they become sedentary and all of a sudden they're out of shape. And then they jump back into their training. They are not mindful of their new limitations that are based on a combination of their age their diet, their micronutrient status, all the other things I've talked about, and they injure themselves again. And this becomes this awful cycle. And that's why most Americans today, despite the fact that the majority of them play sports when they're young and enjoy being fit and active, turn into couch potatoes who struggle with their weight, their insulin resistance, and even end up obese, okay? It doesn't have to be this way. You can avoid that fate. Number uh, five, most people do not rest and recover optimally, and this is why they fail to achieve their goals, okay? And that's the next thing we're gonna talk about. So optimizing rest and recovery, major misconceptions. You can sleep when you're dead or rest and recovery are not important to fitness. This is not going to work. Can young people who are extremely, uh, uh, have a lot of vitality, right? Can they get away with this and get great results? Yes. Can most of them? Not really. The truth is that there's a very few people who can do crazy things like pull an all-nighter and then play a you know world-class level of a sport? You know, people like John Daly. They can do that, but they are one in a million, right? So you have to take this seriously. Number two, we become more fit by challenging ourselves constantly and consistently. This is actually almost true, but what people need to realize is most people, or many people anyway, will wind up in a situation where they're constantly over-challenging themselves and they never have time to actually recover. You've got to plan recovery and rest into your training regimen or with your training regimen to maximize your results, okay? Number three, feeling good is the same as being optimally rested, not the same at all. You will find this out when you look at things like fitness tracker data, sleep scores, when you look at nutrient levels, when you look at hormone profiles, people will get used to feeling terrible and then that will become their norm and that will become what they say is good. 
I'll never forget this one day I walked into the cardiac ICU and I asked this guy who was on death's door, how are you feeling? And he said, I'm good, right? He's used to feeling like trash. So he only feels bad when he is literally dying in front of me. And anything above that for him is normal, okay? All right. You can perform at a high level on a short amount of poor quality sleep. That's true, but it's not true long-term. And people make that mistake. I've seen so many people whose careers, lives have been cut short by serious degenerative illnesses or things like cancers or heart attacks or strokes because they didn't take sleep consistently, seriously over the course of their long, their whole life, right? Mistakes you're making now are going to set you up for failure later. That's why we want to get to you now so we can help you understand what you need to do in order to achieve your goals and have a long, healthy, happy life with a minimum of medical care. Okay. Rest and recovery mean sleep. This is a huge misconception. If you think the only thing you do to rest and recover every day is sleep, you are in for a huge surprise, which we're going to talk about. All right. Realities. Uh, I forgot to change the slide here, but realities to um, rest and recovery and optimization thereof. Adaptations to exercise are what we call results, and adaptation happens only at rest. Okay. That means you've got to rest in order to adapt to your exercises, which means if you want to gain muscle, the exercise is the stimulus. But if you don't plan out recovery and rest, you're not going to actually make the gains. Number two, constant and unrelenting stress is the best way to not get results. What you actually need is intermittent and variable stress, right? So when we have that intermittent stress, right, it's not every day. It's not every six hours. It's not twice a day workouts or two a day workouts. It's tailored to you. Maybe it's daily. Maybe it's three times a week. Maybe it's twice a week. Maybe it's once a week, depending on your goals, right? So it's intermittent and it's tailored to you. And then variable stress, right? Every time I go to the gym with Jim, he doesn't put me through some crushing workout. Some days it'll be hard. Some days it'll be easier. Some days it'll be really light. Some days it's only arms or some days it's legs. Some days it's, you know, it varies a lot. And that's actually really important because it gives you the time to recover. Three, our subjective evaluation of our preparedness is a poor guide for exercise selection, intensity, duration, and volume. There's much more that goes into what you should do in the gym and your workout than what you think you should do based on how you think you feel. Jim talks about this all the time on coaching calls with people. Number four, long-term high performance requires adequate sleep. It is not optional. You must find a way to optimize your sleep if you're going to live a long and healthy life. And if you're not, honestly, the best investment, I hate to say this, you may ever make will be term life insurance. All right. Five, rest and recovery are things you need to build into your waking hours. That's really important. And it's something that most people do, are not aware of. You should have time during your day to rest and relax. Take a slow, ambling walk. Go to the beach. Play with your kids. Play with your grandkids. Cook a nice meal at a leisurely pace. Listen to an audiobook. Do a meditation. Spend some time reading a Bible or praying. Do something to rest and recover. If you're thinking right now, Dr. Stillman, I do not have time for that. We're going to talk about that because we need to help you find a way to make more time for you if you want to lead a long and healthy life. All right. So what I've found in my practice, most people do not optimize their recovery because they don't understand what recovery is. Most people do not spend enough time recovering. Many people underestimate their level of recovery, which leads them to overexercise, which leads them to mediocre results. Most people fail to optimize their sleep, and this leads them to an early disability and death. And most people think rest and recovery is just about sleep, when in reality, they must create daily and weekly rituals and habits of self-care. All right. Again, I can't stress enough. I, there's no way I could cover all this material and all the details within these different topics in one webinar. Uh, it's already 40 minutes. I got more slides I want to share with you guys, including some case studies that are really interesting. And so, you know, if you want more on any of this stuff, YouTube, my Instagram, Facebook, uh, X account, my Substack blog, those are great places to go and learn more about my approach, what I've found, and find out how I can help you. Jim, you can go watch his Instagram. He's got lots of great content too. And then again, make sure you're subscribed to the newsletter at stillmanwellness.com because that's where you will keep up to date with us and you'll get some exclusive offers through that list as well. All right. So now we got to talk about some of the most common uh, roadblocks we see to people's success. 
particularly on our coaching calls, right? And this usually starts with something like this. That sounds great, Dr. Stillman, but, okay, so, but what? I don't have time. So number one, what is your goal? Because I guarantee you that if you're reasonable about your goals, we can make it work with your busy life. And then I need you to ask yourself a very important question, which is this. Can you afford to be too busy to be anything less than the best version of yourself? Let that sink in. I think you should take the time to become the best version of yourself possible. And that leads us to another really important question, which is also very personal, which is why are you too busy? And when people come to me and they say, I'm too busy, I couldn't do this, and I couldn't do that, I forgot to take the supplements, and I didn't do the test, I haven't seen this, I haven't been a group coaching call, and I haven't done this, blah, 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 blah. I say, look, you need to prioritize, you need to outsource, you need to offload, and you need to streamline. You have to do this for you. Frequently, what we find is that people who have problems with being too busy have a big problem with not being productive. And oftentimes that's related to people in their lives who are essentially sucking the life out of them. And so I always start to look when I hear the, I don't have enough time problem for, okay, who in your life is in the way of you becoming the best version of yourself? Because the truth is toxic people are everywhere looking to feed off of well-meaning, well-intentioned, good people. And they want to steal your time. They want to steal your energy. They want to take your money. They want to take everything you've got to satisfy their own needs. And one of the best things some of my patients and clients have done in the past is they've set boundaries with those people and said, no, I cannot do that for you anymore. Or no, I'm not going to pay for all this that you use anymore. Or no, you cannot this, that, the other thing. They've set boundaries and that gives them back their time. And that is essential for their wellness. And yes, we do cover this stuff on coaching calls because it becomes so important. Okay, number two, I can't afford it. What is your goal? You do not need to be rich to be fit. Jim and I are in Nicaragua right now. And the other day we went to the beach and we uh, did a beach workout using driftwood. So you don't need a gym membership. You don't need a fancy sauna. You don't need you know, thousands of dollars a month or hundreds of dollars a month in supplements. You don't need all that stuff in order to achieve your health and fitness goals. Now, I'm going to add a caveat there, which is it depends on the timing. So if people engage with us and they do the coaching that we offer and they, they really show up and they do the work, for the most part, they achieve goals that are reasonable. People who want to get better yesterday, quite frankly, testing, supplements, more expensive things, they help. And so we can get you there faster with more data and more information and more nutritional support, okay? Let alone things like hormones, peptides, biohacks, all that kinds of stuff, right? But the truth is, if you come to us and you say, look, I wanna look and feel my best, but I cannot literally spend a single dime outside of this training program on it, Jim and I will show you how to do it. And more than that, we will be honest with you if we think your goals are unrealistic, because that's something that's really important with people to be, to be clear about. You know, we'll have people who say, look, I wanna be, you know, um, a gold medal um, cyclist, but I also want to be the CEO of a Fortune 500 company, okay? I mean, unless you're Lance Armstrong and you're, I mean, that's just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Lance Armstrong's got his own company. It's very successful, whatever, but, you know, he's not the CEO of a Fortune 500 company and a world-class cyclist. So, so long as you're reasonable with your goals, we can help you find, figure out a way to achieve them. Second thing, how can you make money or save money so that you can invest in your wellness? We often find that we've got to talk with people about, well, hey, listen, what's really important to you? You know, what, where is this money going? And oftentimes people will tell us, well, I'm spending $500 a month on supplements. Oh my gosh, if you're spending $500 a month on supplements and you can't afford something like coaching program and expertise, I always use this example, right? So do you think that when somebody like Tom Brady wants to win the Super Bowl, he thinks I'm going to go buy the best equipment and then I'm not going to spend any money on coaching? No, he does not. The best people in the world, the highest performers, they all make their priority coaching. And that's why you'll see world-class soccer players or athletes who came from countries where they could barely afford to buy the equipment to play the sport that they become experts in, right? I'm in Nicaragua right now. There's these little kids. They run around with these beat-up soccer balls or things that look like they might once have been soccer balls. And they're playing in like dirt lots, right? So this is an, this is an excuse that a lot of people fall into. They don't need to. And there's tons of ways in our coaching that we help people save money on their healthcare, their fitness, all these different things, just by helping them understand 
how the system works and how their bodies work to get better results. And then the next question I like to ask people is, what are you investing in right now that's more valuable than your health? Many people get their priorities mixed up and they think that a $1,000 car payment every month makes sense, but spending money on their wellness does not because you know their insurance doesn't pay for it. This doesn't end well. It's very important to take this seriously and to prioritize it in a budget and to economize other things that you are not going to take with you if you get sick. Okay. All right. I need to train this way. Many people come to us and they say, look, I am totally, you know, love my training methodology. I love how I do it. I'm just married to this. I got this trainer. They're telling me to train this way. Totally understand that. But many people coming to us with this mindset are not getting the results they want. And frankly, we'd rather save them the time and, and energy and money, whatever, of joining a coaching program and then being disillusioned with our approach to things than having them come in and say, well, I want to get the results that I want with the training methodology I have, and I'm not open to critique and constructive feedback from Dr. Stillman or Jim, right? So the truth is most of you are not married to your training regimen, right? Most of you just want to look good and feel good, but you've got to be open-minded to the idea that your training regimen can look radically different from what you're doing now and get you better results than you're getting now. And this comes back to the idea that you've got to be really specific. So what do great results look like to you? Because you'd be shocked at how many people's training regimens and protocols we deconstruct and change, sometimes only slightly, to get them better results. And then third, do you understand the trade-off between performance and longevity? So you cannot be both a Ferrari and a Forerunner. Many people don't understand this. So high-performance people do not tend to live that long. Okay, why? It's a lot of energy, it's a lot of expense, it's a lot of cost. That's why you'll often see, or it's part of why, it's part of why you'll often see that the people who are dying young, who are high level athletes, um, they're dying young because the performance comes at a cost. Okay, and you're also gonna notice that the people who live to 100, they are not high level athletes. They are not what we would call high performers. They're more like forerunners whereas the high performer is more like a Ferrari. So we just need to help you understand what the off is and then help you tailor your training goals so that they're realistic for you based on who and what you are and what you want. And again, most of you wanna look and feel your best. I wanna be really clear. You can get exceptional results in just a few hours each week. And that's part of what we train in our programs. Okay, this is another big one. I get this all the time. I'm sure my nutrition is perfect and maybe not perfect, but good enough. Okay. I see this over and over and over again. People don't know what they're eating. They don't know what their macros are. They have no idea what their micronutrient balance is. They're getting tiny doses of some of the most important nutrients for health and longevity. And we make a few tiny changes in their diet and pow, they are back and better than ever. It's actually amazing. And some of it, some of it amazes me because I'm like, I, I, you know, I would think that some more people out there would have know, would know all the stuff that I've figured out, but here we are. So some of this comes back to what kind of testing has been done. Many people will come in and say, well, my nutrient levels said this. Well, then we'll do a different test in my practice and we'll say, you know what? Your nutrient levels over here were X, but over here they're Y. And what this means is that these tests didn't apply to you the way that you thought they did. Most tests being done are not the right tests and many of them are not being properly interpreted, unfortunately. And then the next thing is people often think they're taking supplements and that they're covered. Not true. We often find hidden micronutrient deficiencies in people through more advanced testing uh, that often show that their supplements either weren't being absorbed or weren't working. Um, and sometimes I hate to say it, but that may be a qual supplement quality issue because there's a lot of supplement companies that are not on the up and up. Uh, another one we get is I already have a coach or trainer. Um, if you're watching this and you're thinking I'm unhappy with my results, then is your coach or trainer, um, do, do they know what they need to know to get you great results? It's not that I'm not happy to have you work with them. I hope you have great people at your side, but oftentimes we offer insights that, you know, the personal trainer around the corner from you just doesn't have. Um, Jim's got 25 plus years of experience, D1 athletes, Olympians, all kinds of people. It's really hard to uh, find someone with that level of expertise. Um, so yeah, you can have a trainer, you can have a coach, but you can still get our help in tailoring what you're doing. 
And then another thing that I think it's very important for you to think about is, is the person you're working with making your joint pain better or worse? We will often see that people are working with um, uh, coaches, trainers who are driving uh, strategies that are going to lead to a lot of joint dysfunction down the line. And you should know that. And it's very easy for Jim to figure that out when he talks to you on a coaching call. All right. Uh, so this is a test uh, case, excuse me, not a test, a case that we had this fall. Her name was Anna. Actually, I've changed all the names here, but we're going to call her Anna. So she came in struggling with severe brain fog and fatigue. She tried everything, multiple hit, hit workouts every week. She was on disability. That's how tired she was. Testing revealed multiple nutritional deficiencies in a matter of weeks and then months on the right supplement protocol, particularly things that supported her digestion. She saw her HRV double from the low teens to the high 20s and 30s. And now not only is she uh, not as tired, she doesn't even need to take a rest late in the day. So she's well on her way to getting off of disability, which was her whole goal in coming to see us. And I want to impress upon you guys, this is not the average person walking into the gym. Some people walk into the gym in the state that Anna was in, but the reality is that she had real medical issues that had her on disability. And we were able to get her back from there all the way to doubling her HRV and no longer needing to nap in the middle of the day. All right. Bo, Bo's a great case study in a, from our coaching uh, practice. He struggled with back pain for 15 years from ankylosing spondylitis. He's been on and off medications for years, and he joined a coaching program about a year ago. And this was a really interesting case because most doctors would have come in and said, okay, we're going to try this and we're going to do this and blah, blah, blah. And sure, you know, we looked at testing, we looked at things like that. But the things that helped him the most is that he cleaned up his sleep schedule, he cleaned up and adjusted his diet, and he started working with Jim not only on what to do, but being held accountable by Jim in his daily exercise regimen and uh, daily routine. And it's made a world of difference in his life. He's given us, and his wife have given us testimonials publicly on Instagram, and he's still in our Fundamentals of Wellness program. He's doing great. And then, Jim, jump on screen here. We're going to talk about some, uh, some public case studies that uh, Jim's done in the past, uh, starting with Eric Banks. So, Jim, before we jump into Eric's case, I said a lot of things and oftentimes you, you, you uh, take issue with how I phrase things and I'm eager to get your thoughts on my thought, my uh, presentation so far. No, I thought it was good. Um, I think, I think with Bo, one of the main things I helped him realize is that he was his own worst enemy. And it was the same thing with Eric Banks, you know, um, why are you abusing yourself? You know, and these are questions um, that only come from being silent and then realizing, Hey, every, you know, all the trouble I'm having is from habits that I'm using to manage myself. And what do I need to do to, uh, fill that void or to change my perspective? So I don't have to, uh, do these habits that are, that are hurting me. Right. And so that's Absolutely. A, lot, a lot of times what I do is getting people to be self-aware of what they're doing to themselves. Cause a lot of people are stuck in a, in a state of self-sabotage. And that was definitely Eric Banks when I met him. Yeah. He lost a lot of weight with you. Yes. And he still has kept it. He's done a pretty good job of keeping it off. Yeah. Good for him. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, you can see Eric's before and afters there. He trained with Jim back when Jim was in Lexington, Kentucky. And I remember one of the things that stood out to me was that you basically said, you do not get to train with me until you clean up your lifestyle. Right. Because it was just a waste of time. I mean, he was, uh, I mean, his lifestyle was horrendous mm -hmm. and he literally begged me for like six or eight months. And I finally said, okay, dude, like if you're serious about actually changing your lifestyle, I'll work with you. If not, then there's nothing I can do for you. Cause basically it was just nothing would have really changed because his lifestyle was so, uh, horrible would be, I mean, uh, atrocious is a better word. Um, yes. you know, so. And so this was written up in the Huffington Post, and he calls you his saving grace. <laughs> I've heard that a, a couple of times. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, second case is Rachel Matthews. Jim, do you want to run through Rachel's uh, case? Well, yeah, this is a typical case that what we see is where people are just like, uh, you know, hairdressers. You know, Rachel's a, a, a busy mother of three, uh, working three jobs, PhD, highly successful pharmacist. Uh, and literally started gaining weight, even though she was working out and her coach was like, we just need to work out more. And so had her come in and start doing, you know, a second cardio session every day. 
she would notice when she went on vacation, she would lose weight, she would lose water, she would feel better. She felt better when she didn't work out than she did when she did work out. And it was just a matter of telling her like, hey, like there's a whole podcast I did with her. Uh, it took us some time. And, and, and a lot of this stuff people don't realize is that this is about building relationships with people and then getting them to change habits. And that doesn't happen like overnight. Most people just don't buy into what I'm selling right away. It takes time, right? And, and even for myself and, uh, you know, I'm constantly adjusting, oh, okay, I'm, I'm kind of backsliding here. I need to get back to doing this habit or, you know, it's a constant adjustment of like, what do I need to do to make myself my best, you know, or to, uh, you know, realize like my buddy, Alan Kress, who's highly successful. He works, uh, my former roommate, he works with Shaquille O'Neal. He trains some Saudi princes and things like that. Highly successful business guy. And he's just like, Hey, um, you know, I'm going to work my butt off here for like a couple of weeks and then I'm going to take a couple of weeks to chill, you know? And so being strategic about that, knowing if you've got a really rough time in your life coming up, it might be better to do some restorative work uh, and not try and set like a bunch of records or anything like that. So the big right. thing with Rachel was getting her to train less three days a week of lifting and then getting her to take the extra time instead of just, you know, doing more high intensity work, you know, taking a bath, playing with her kids, going outside, you know, doing those sort of things. And most people, the mo our modern lifestyle is really hurting us. And what most people don't understand is because of our modern lifestyle, it affects the way we breathe. It affects our ability to shut off our nervous system and truly relax and restore. And so even though people feel like they're not very active, uh, they're breathing and they're just the, the status of their nervous system is not in a true rest state due to our current modern lifestyle. And that's where most people really get themselves in trouble because they don't truly shut off even when they sleep. Absolutely. Yeah. And I am posting a link to your podcast with Rachel in the comments. The first link I, I shared is actually the wrong one. So don't go to that one. It's the body.io gym layer number 36 podcast. So yeah, she uh, started working with you, started working out less, relaxing more and getting better results. All right, Jim, thanks for jumping in. Any last thoughts? Nope. Uh, other than, you know, a lot of this stuff is just consistency over time, right? Right. And accountability is really the name of the game. So my, my friend Eric Coram that you just did a podcast with had a really good post on a study that's just been done with like when you have a goal, uh, if you have an accountability partner or somebody who's going to check on you and make sure you're, you're doing what you need to do, the the success rate goes up to like as much as 90%. So you can have a great plan, but if you don't have it, that's one of the reasons we've added like an accountability app to the fundamentals of wellness with coaching is because it's that doing things daily, the things that you need to do um, to get yourself in a better place is, is the key to your long-term success. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So you got two opportunities to work with us today that I'd like to share with people. So number one, we have our program called Fundamentals of Wellness Plus Coaching. This includes three courses, Fundamentals of Wellness, Dr. Stillman's Wellness Secrets, and Jim Laird's Strength and Conditioning Secrets. The second opportunity is exclusively for New York and Florida residents because it's where I have medical licenses and so does my nurse practitioner. And that is what we call our comprehensive case review, which includes an appointment with myself our nurse practitioner, Lauren, testing, and then personalized supplement protocols. Okay, so what do these things entail? What is involved? What is included? So number one, Fundamentals of Wellness. This is three courses. I already mentioned them, but it's Fundamentals of Wellness course, Dr. Stillman's Wellness Secrets, and Jim Laird's Strength and Conditioning Secrets. You will also get weekly calls with Jim and one weekend call with Jim per month. And then you'll get twice monthly calls with me. These are Q&As. They're open forum. You can ask whatever you want. So that's a total of seven calls a month, which is a lot. It's a 12 month program. Why? Because I think the trend in the health and fitness industry is to do something like 10 week, 12 week boot camps, kind of bring people in, burn them out, make them tired, make them sore. Maybe they make some gains. Maybe they don't. They leave in with the next group. There's nothing wrong with committing to a three month program. We offer things like that at times, but the reality is that we do not want to give you uh, transient, temporary experiences with no long-term gains. We want you to get what I call significant, 
durable results, the foundation of which is fundamental long-term behavior change. And we've seen this over and over again. Most people who seek out my help, something like this happens. They see me, we get some testing or they do some coaching. They see some improvements, they get better. Then they fall off the wagon, stop showing up to calls, don't book appointments, whatever. And then three months later, two months later, six months later, whatever it is, they say, hey, I'm sick again, help. I don't want that to happen to you. I want you to get significant, durable results. You need a long-term commitment in a coaching program if you want to live your best life and be your best self. And that is why we created this as a 12-month program with all those calls, okay? Now, for those of you watching this who are familiar with this uh, opportunity from before, uh, we launched this course almost a year ago now, uh, and we are changing it slightly. We are only going to have enrollment at select times. That's very important. We noticed that more and more people were enrolling, and we want to control the quality. We are very committed to people's success, and we know that if we have you guys on group calls with 70, 80, 100 people, there's no way we can talk to you all. And that means we can't get to know you all either. So we're limiting enrollment to select times of year. Some of these may be webinars, some of them may be promotions during different times of year, seasons, whatever, but understand that this is a temporary offer, okay? Once enrollment is closed, people who get or buy the course, Fundamentals of Wellness, will get first access to the coaching plus these other courses that are bundled in there. And that's actually really important because if you want to and are serious about joining this program, buy the Fundamentals of Wellness course. It's very affordably priced, it's a very simple, excellent starting point. And the people who do that are gonna get those first emails when we reopen enrollment so they can get into this course with coaching. Okay, what are we covering these courses? What's in it for you? So number one, the fundamentals. We're gonna make sure that you're incorporating key daily habits into your routine. You've probably heard about these, but I have to tell you, no matter how much I see these plastered all over social media, and no matter how people tell me that they're doing them, we see them in coaching programs and we find all the mistakes they're making. And then we find out, oh, wait, you're not really doing it. You just think you're doing it. So we've got to troubleshoot this for you and then help you really implement it. Number two, wellness secrets. Wellness secrets is basically 20 years of my experience and research all rolled into one single course. It is currently about 10 or 15 episodes, but we have at least 50 planned. And why is that such a big deal? Well, it's an insane amount of high, high quality, high, high value information. And unlike most of the information that I see being uh, uh, targeted to people or offered to people out there in the health and wellness info space, most of that stuff is a combination of entertainment and then it's kind of light on the education. And even when it's got plenty of educational information, there's almost no implementation. There's no, here's how you actually do this. It actually all comes down to, hey, this is great for you. Learn more about it. Here is something for us to sell you. This is much more about, this is how I look at things like blood pressure. This is how I look at things like weight gain. This is how I look at things like low thyroid. Why? Because I saw in taking care of patients with these real medical issues that they were leaving tons of simple everyday health and wellness things on the table. I call them low hanging fruit. And I just decided, okay, we're going to do a webinar on every important topic that I see on a regular basis. And in that webinar, I'm going to just give people the 50,000 foot view plus all the really valuable tactics that I use in my practice that otherwise they'd be spending hundreds of dollars to just have a consult with me to explain to them. Okay. So that's the value of wellness secrets. It is 20 years of R and D and in integrative and functional medicine. It is a wealth of information. And believe me, if you don't have time for 50 hours, you don't need to take 50 hours because truthfully, five to 10 of these webinars are the ones that you're going to get the most out of. So that's all you're going to have to do. Okay. Strength secrets. The goal here is to develop an ideal training program for your goals. This is an amazing library of videos and exercises that Jim has put together along with his ideas and philosophies on training that will help you get unbelievable results. All right. So what are the key goals and outcomes? Just to reiterate these for this coaching program. So number one, we want to optimize your daily routine and fundamental habits so you can be the best, healthiest version of you. In Dr. Stillman's Wellness Secrets, you're going to learn how to optimize your nutrition and your wellness, right? And you're going to get all my insights from 20 years of R&D into the root causes of people's problems and simple solutions that do not require medical care, right? 
This is not a medical program. Again, it's education. And with all that, you're going to be able to optimize your wellness. And then with Jim Laird's Strength and Conditioning Secrets, you're going to learn to optimize your training regimen so you can gain muscle, lose weight, live as long as possible, looking and feeling as good as possible. That's the bottom line. That's why we created this course. It's what we're offering. All right. Okay, so Fundamentals of Wellness Plus Coaching, like I said, we only take on 10 to 20 people each month. Math, that's 12, 120 to 240 people annually. It's a very small program. You will get a complimentary 30-minute onboarding call with Jim, which is very important. He's going to help you identify your goals. He's going to help you understand what you need to do to succeed. The reason we have targeted this number of people annually is that this is not a program where we just cram people in and try and rack up the number of people on a monthly subscription. No, this is different. There are group calls on this. Well, they're all group calls. And we want them, our target is 10 to 20 people. Why? Because that gives us the opportunity to answer all of your questions almost every time we sit down to coach people, right? And so these, these coaching calls can go an hour, an hour and a half, two hours, depending on how engaged and how complex the questions people are asking are. This allows us to give you a high level of touch and accountability. We will actually get to know you by name because that's key to your success. There's only 12 openings right now. So the first 12 people to sign up, you're going to be the last 12 people we let in until I don't know when. We're going to have probably another opening here in the next quarter. But for many of you, think about, think about that. That could be 90 days from now, right? And at the end of this webinar, there's going to be an email sent out to about 12,000 people. So do the math. If one in 1,000 people joins, we're going to be full. And then we're going to shut down enrollments. So I encourage you guys to act now. Jim will have the... Uh, links uh, in the comments here. All right. Second opportunity. This is at the medical practice, right? So this is where I'm actually a doctor. I'm not just a coach. I'm a doctor. This is what we call the comprehensive case review. This is available in Florida and New York only. Why? That's where I'm licensed. My nurse is licensed. My nurse practitioner is licensed. What is the program we're offering? It includes testing as part of the price. We go to the labs and we say, look, we'd like these tests and we'd like them at a deep, deep discount. Okay, and that's what we get, and we pass that value on to you. You will get a comprehensive wellness panel, a hormone panel, and a hair tissue mineral analysis. Just to be clear, if you did not know where to shop, this would be at least $1,000 in labs. Okay? Most of you do not know where to shop. I see people coming in with these labs. They'll spend $1,000 on one of these panels. Drives me nuts. Instead, we take the discount from the lab, pass it on to you, and you just pay for the time of myself and my staff. Okay. All right. What do you get out of this, this program? What's the goal? Number one, personalized supplement protocol based on labs and history. Unique protocols for my practice for optimizing sleep, improving gut health, optimizing hormone production and balance, and optimizing metabolism. Okay. These are things I can't offer in the coaching programs. Why? Because we don't have the labs to back up using things at these doses. And then you'll get personalized dietary recommendations, key foods and food groups for your metabolism, key nutrients for health and longevity and performance and insight into things like food allergies and tolerances and sensitivities. We'll talk about whether or not you need to avoid things like gluten, dairy, wheat, tree nuts, the whole nine, right? Key goals and outcomes. Number one, give you insights into your unique biochemical state, minerals, vitamins, metabolism, and show you exactly what you need to do to achieve your goal. More energy, stamina, endurance, better mental clarity and focus, better sleep, weight loss, and more. These are the kinds of things that people come to us looking for results and help with. This is limited to the first 10 people. Why? We all have a lot of time with each patient. That means we only take on 10 people each month. If you book and you're past number 10, what we can do is send you an email. We'll say, hey, listen, we can't start you right away. But we can start you next month, right? So 30 days from now. It's only available in Florida and New York. If you're outside of Florida or New York, you can go to stillmanmd.com and click the apply for consultation tab. That will take you to a form, fill that out. One of my staff will get in touch. Well, you'll receive an email with a link to book a call with one of my staff who can then explain the programs that are available to you. And if you're in Florida or New York and you want something more expensive and exciting than the conference of case review, we have those offerings. Go to the website, stillmanmd.com, fill out the consultation, and you will get in touch with my staff and they can explain our executive physical and our comprehensive um, uh, wellness program. And uh, if you're, and again, you've got to be in New York or Florida for this because it's all virtual. Okay. 
We do not take insurance. This is cash only. That's partly because we have negotiated with the labs a special price for you guys. We do accept HSAs and FSA cards. And uh, after this program, you will be eligible to join our annual plan, which is a monthly subscription that gets you access to myself uh, and my team so that you can do ongoing labs as needed to tailor your supplements going forward. And also we do tend to manage things like people's hormones, whether it's thyroid or testosterone or their uh, uh, sex steroid hormones and so on and so forth. So thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to sign up for the newsletter at stillmanwellness.com. Check out stillmanmd.substack.com. And again, the two options you have today to work with us, Fundamentals of Wellness of Coaching and the Comprehensive Case Review of my practice in Florida and New York. And on that note, take care, everyone. Have a great day.